What's up, everybody? Furious P, Furious Talks. Yes, we are talking once again. How you guys doing? Doing good? That's good. That's real, real good. Um, today, just wanted to do a little video on rings. I got myself some rings, and I've missed these things. I used to use them all the time. And basically, I wanted to do a video on making sure that you're keeping your workouts versatile, making sure that you guys are definitely switching things up, making sure that you, you know, use the gym to its full potential. There's so many different exercises and I feel like um, you get into a certain routine or you get into this notion that when you go to the gym, you need to use dumbbells and barbells and then that's it. You know, there's, there's these little things here and there that you can utilize to one, make things more interesting and two, simply to give yourself a different kind of edge or simply to be able to engage muscles that you normally wouldn't have engaged. So for example, I love these things uh, for a number of exercises. One is to engage my shoulders. Now my shoulders are kind of shit and if I can stretch them out in a proper way, in a, in a way that I uh, haven't been able to stretch them in a long time, then I feel great. You know, they're, they're able to become more loose and I'm able to do much heavier weight or uh, get better Mo uh, better range of motion and so on. So uh, doing something called the skin the cat, which I'm showing an example right now, but um, I haven't done them in quite some time. So I need to get back into the swing of things, but you're able to actually move your entire body, you know, by, you know, hanging onto the ring like this and you're swinging your entire body back all the way to the other side, you are definitely gonna be utilizing that shoulder in a really, really nice way and it's gonna give it a really nice stretch. But also you gotta be careful, you gotta make sure that you don't overdo it right away. Um, I'm ambitious every time, you know, if I haven't done an exercise that I enjoy in a long time, I'm gonna push it to the limit and sometimes I go too far, you know, and sometimes there's little pains that weren't there before the exercise or before the workout started. Uh, another really awesome one is uh, knees to elbows on the rings. So I really like these because you're forced to um, hold yourself just like this, which is an exercise in itself, and then actually move your legs upwards just like so, um, and you know, it's simply how it sounds, knees to elbows. Um, and I feel like it's a phenomenal ab workout, um, especially if you do a lot of, you know, a good amount of reps with these. Um, you can also uh, incorporate weight into it. So put some weight on your, um, on your uh, ankles, uh, bring that up. There's a ton of different ways to make this more challenging or make it more exciting. Um, last, but certainly not least, you can obviously do a million other things with these rings like Iron Cross and all that other stuff. Uh, but I'm definitely not gonna be showing any of that, at least not for a little while. Gotta get a little stronger with these things, but um, it's just uh, doing dips, ring dips. Now, I don't want to uh, show off these, these, a lot of people doing these CrossFit things um, are doing these crazy, crazy kipping pull-ups, which I don't feel is an actual, well, isn't really gonna benefit you at all. Um, what you just saw, I was doing kipping, uh, not really that much kipping, I'd rather just do these stricts, so <laughs> jump on and push myself without actually kicking up. I'd rather do that because I feel like I'm able to actually utilize my triceps a lot more. So what's the difference between doing, doing it on this and on dip machines is the fact that you have to actually keep these rings as close as you can to yourself. It just 
basically the difference between doing them on rings and doing them on a normal dip bar is that they're a lot harder on rings. So that's why I enjoy them. You're not going to be able to do as many dips on here, especially if you move up to weighted dips, you're not going to be able to do as many. But I feel like you get a better workout. It becomes more challenging. You have to have to keep these rings close and therefore you're just able to get a better squeeze, better, just better workout overall. Anyways, uh, I'm going to start working out with rings again because they're fun. They're a lot of fun. Um, and uh, I think that if you ever have the opportunity to play around with them, I mean, a lot of people do use them on a regular basis, but if you ever have the opportunity to play around with them, I highly, highly suggest it because they're just, they're fun. They're fun to use and they're really good for you. Um, and. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I got nothing else really in this video. Just keep things different, keep things interesting in the gym and you will definitely get more results, have more fun and make sure that your workouts and your love for fitness becomes a long-term thing rather than a short-term thing. Because that is the problem in society nowadays is that people don't make fitness a long-term thing. They make it a one, two, three, let's lose 20 pounds and then let's get back on to what I was doing before and then, you know, what we call yo-yo diets, yo-yo fitness and so on. Anyways, I'm done rambling for today. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Lots of cool stuff. Whatever you guys want me to do in these vlogs, please let me know. Um, you know, I do my daily vlogs traveling and or just daily routines and all that other stuff, but specifically in the gym, um, I, I want to do more and more stuff. I want to speak my mind. So if there's anything that you guys ever want me to talk about, anything that you want me to focus on, you guys let me know. Anyways, catch you guys later. Team Furious, dedicated for life. Stay sexy, stay hungry, and of course, get laid, my friends. Boom. Driving, I uh, haven't been vlogging. And uh, I got complaints because I vlogged every single day when I was on the road. That's crazy, yes, I got a haircut. I, I still don't like it, but it is what it is. It just is what it is.